Good morning, folks. Sorry it's come back to this. Time for C.W. Leonis to be debunked for the fifth time in 18 months. I have no idea why Dave Chappelle shows up when you search this. Sorry. But inevitably, no matter what, people looking at sky images for the first time would rather assume that they've discovered something nobody else has found, and they refuse to look and see if it's been debunked or not. Sorry, guys. Fold me two years ago as well. Then there's the people pointing to the Soho images of backside CMEs and trying to call out NASA. Now, NASA said there would be no killer solar flare, and then they stated that the Earth-facing solar side was quiet. I told you the same thing. But a few people who have no clue what they are talking about point to these moderate-sized backside eruptions and start screaming to high hell. Sometimes I don't think this community will ever be taken seriously. Apologies, I'm just frustrated thinking out loud. You know who you are. Off to Indonesia, where the Rokatenda volcano erupted again. It has been an active year there. Landslide in the American Samoa Islands after days of Cyclone Evan last week and a 6.8 not far away in Vanuatu yesterday. Not exactly the world ender some predicted, but it does match our quake watch quite nicely. Also had a nuclear plant shut down in Sweden for the second time in a few months due to a seawater leak. The weather in northeastern Europe is brutal as this large blue low pressure system brought counterclockwise helical cloud motion and stirred moisture onto the UK causing major flooding. More is expected. Look at Draco spinning his way across the United States. If you will allow me a quick weather share, it sucked. I can't imagine how cold and snowy it is north of me, but I've posted an article for a start. On the right, you can see the remnants of Cyclone Evan, about to be a minor inconvenience for New Zealand, certainly not the monster it was before. Here's your thunderstorm warnings. Yesterday, I showed you how the solar wind dictates the metrics derived from our electromagnetic interface with the solar system. The cutoff in readings is due to a significant and lasting drop in the speed of the solar wind, confirmed by both SOHO and ACE telemetry. Interestingly, the flaring is starting to come back on the Earth's side of the sun. Just minor right now, as this flare watch has been a total flop so far. The active regions looked promising as they crested, but magnetically have been unable to produce a form that is conducive to strong instabilities. In fact, the disorganized mess of spots up north is currently beta gamma and more dangerous than the southern triangle of spots. The Earth footprint is a bit hard to see. Grainy means it's a backside connection to this large grouping right here, leaving those last two connections underneath this solar feature, better known as that aforementioned triangle, leaving this last sunspot group easily correlated with the right side of the charts. Got two more coronal holes turning towards Earth. One is on the solar equator. Venus heliocentrically conjoins Saturn today and geocentrically opposes Jupiter tomorrow. The quake and flare watch is nearly over. My eyes are on the development within those sunspots and it's 5.49 a.m. Eastern Time. That's the news. Be safe, everyone.